everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kiana and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this ruched mini dress that is convertible again because I love the convertible ruched things. Ruching is super in right now and my skirt video and my skirt TikTok especially did really well. So a lot of you are probably actually from TikTok so if you're from TikTok, hello. Yeah, so I got a similar video for you. You can create this entire dress with just the basic sewing machine. You don't need a serger or a cover stitch or anything like that. But yeah, anyways, if you like this dress, um, and want to learn how to create it, just keep watching. And also, please subscribe, like, comment, that would be great. Um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so y'all got two options for how to create the patterns for this dress. The first is if you have a dress that's already similar to the ruched dress that we're going to be creating, but just isn't ruched, you can just literally cop those pattern pieces from your dress by just tracing out the pieces of this dress. So get the front, get a side, get a back, and use those pattern pieces. I actually made this dress a couple months ago and it has princess seams like we're gonna be doing with our ruched dress, so I could just use those pieces, but I wanna show you guys how to make the dress from scratch. So if you're making it from scratch and draping on a dress form, the first thing I'm doing is I'm just placing tape where I want the neckline to be. And then I'm creating a bust bridge over her chest so that the piece doesn't collapse. Now we are going to take the front piece and make a pattern. So I'm going to smooth that out over the center line of the dress form. And we're just draping on the right side. When I say right side, I mean the dress form's right side because you only need to make pattern pieces for one side of the dress form because you know those pattern pieces will reflect over to make pieces for the left side. So after I pin it down the center, I'm just pulling that piece over to the side to the princess seam and the princess seam is just that seam that goes directly over the bust and down the waist. It's you see that seam that I'm marking on. That's the princess seam. Um, and after I pull it tight and stretch it over to fit over the princess seam, I'm going to mark it with a pen, no a marker. I'm marking it with a marker and then marking where I want the hem to end. After that, I'm just marking it as the front piece so I don't get confused later, and then taking a ruler and connecting all those marks we made, um, just connecting them together and just making sure those marks really line up and are actually straight and make sense. I'm making sure to mark that we cut it on the fold so I remember for later and then I'm just cutting that piece out, leaving a little bit of a border, a seam allowance, just so we can pin it back up on the dress form. It doesn't really matter how much you leave, just make sure you leave something. Then I'm pinning that piece back on the dress form so I can pin the next piece up and create a pattern piece for the side. Disclaimer, I am not creating an actual side seam. This side piece is gonna span from the front all the way towards the back. Um, never in the real world should you ever make a piece really without a side seam. I'm just doing it because this piece is so stretchy or this fabric is so stretchy and it's gonna be ruched so it doesn't need to like fit perfectly against her body anyways. Um, just so you know, that's not okay to not have a side seam normally, but it's okay right now. See, it's not gonna fit over her as I'm showing you right now. But basically I'm just doing the same thing I did for the front piece. I'm just pinning it along, pinning it along the princess seam on the front and also on the back and then marking it with a marker and then truing up those pieces to make sure all the dots connect. And then I will be cutting it out again. I'm doing the same exact thing for the back piece and this is the last pattern piece. I am just smoothing it down the center back and then pinning it to the princess seam at the back, marking it again, and then I'm gonna true it up again and then cut it out again, same exact routine. Now I'm oh so professionally cutting a hemline the same distance from the ground. Um, that's not very professional, but that's just what I did. And then I am going to cut the pattern pieces out at their actual seams where I mark them because we're gonna use these to make the real final pattern pieces. Now I'm gonna take all three pieces, lie them on top of each other and make horizontal cut lines every two inches. And we're doing this, um, you'll see later, because we need to end up stretching the pattern piece um, longer so that when we ruche it up, it'll come back to this original shape. Make sure you also label every piece so you don't get confused 
which is the front, which is the side, which is the second piece and the third piece. I labeled all my pieces so that I would not get confused if I ever accidentally made them go out of order like this, as you can see. Then I'm going to just take the front pieces because we're going to be working with those first. So I took some fabric because I don't have any pattern paper to make my pattern and I took those pieces that we cut from the front piece and spaced them two inches apart. Then I'm taking my marker and marking on the sides of those pieces. Then I'm going to take my pieces away and again take my ruler and connect all those dots in one fluid line through those dots up. And this will be your new pattern piece. And it's basically the old pattern piece. It's just stretched, doubled um, what it was before. So when we ruche it up and make it all gathered, it will end up being the same shape that we patterned in the beginning. Now I'm adding one inch seam allowance around the entire pattern and then just cutting it out. And then I'm gonna repeat that process for the side and the back. And then after I have all my pieces, I'm going to put them on fabric, sorry for the blurry clip, and just cut them all out. Remember to cut the front and back pattern pieces out on the fold and cut the side pattern pieces out twice and not on the fold. I pinned my pieces back up on the dress form just so I could keep track of them. But anyways, now we are going to fold the hem at the neckline and the hem at the bottom down and we are going to just finish that edge. You're going to hem each piece individually and to do this, we're going to go to our sewing machine, select a zigzag stitch and then I'm folding the hem twice as you can see here i'm folding it down a half inch and then i'm folding it again over a half inch to account for that one inch seam allowance that we left and then i'm going to use the zigzag stitch on my sewing machine and put that all the way down the hem so that when we stretch it over our bodies that zigzag stitch is going to allow the fabric and the stitching to stretch with us now we're going to connect all the pieces at the princess seam so just take two pieces put them right sides together and sew it with a one inch seam allowance and to connect the pieces i used a straight stitch also if you don't know the regular stitch on your sewing machine is the straight stitch i put the dress back on my dress form you can put it on yourself and then i ruched it up to the length i wanted it to be and i'm measuring from the highest point on the shoulder down to the edge of the hem on the front and the back and that entire measurement for me is 70 inches and i'm going to use that measurement to create the strips that we're going to add in to the princess seams to pull it tight and to ruche it up like that so my measurement was 70 inches you actually want to make it like 15 20 inches longer than that because you want to be able to tie these strips at the bottom also my pieces were an inch and a quarter wide you also need to cut four strips. So after you cut your four strips, take them over to the sewing machine, fold them in half and use a zigzag stitch to stitch them closed. I used a really small seam allowance because I wanted my strips to end up being like three eighths of an inch. Also, you could choose to just serge these strips closed instead of using the zigzag stitch because it's faster. So sorry, I ended up serging all my strips, but I wanted to show that you could do the strips with just a basic sewing machine. Now I'm turning the strips right side out by attaching a safety pin to one end and then threading that safety pin all the way through until it comes out the other end and that's going to turn them all right side out. Now I'm sewing down the casing. To do this, just flip your dress inside out so you can see the seam allowance. Open up that seam allowance, lay it flat and sew that casing down to the dress. Um, and I made the casing about 5 eighths of an inch wide so I could easily thread the strips through the casing like I'm doing here. Make sure you thread from the bottom to the top because once it comes out the top of the dress, you can lay it flat to figure out which side it needs to get threaded through next. So it's like a strap of the dress. So it comes out the front and then it's gonna loop over your shoulder and go down the respective casing in the back so that you can make a nice strap for you. And then thread that all the way through until it gets to the end. Because the strips are tied at the edge of the hem, um, you can adjust how long you want your dress. So if you want it super mini, make it super mini, or you can make it five inches longer. Um, but yeah, this is the final product. So that was the tutorial. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you create it, if you do recreate it. Um, I know a bunch of you recreated the skirt. I want to see pictures, so please like post them or DM them to me on Instagram at Kiana Bonolo. I would love to see your recreations. Um, yeah, and I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, 
follow me on social media. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Bye!